Hi to me YouTubers. <laughs> you keep creeping up there. Uh, welcome. This is um, to do with the Lidl's Parkside Plasma Cutter PPSK40A1. Um, so I'm just going to do a little demonstration of it. It's of it straight out of the box. Uh, I must have put this in my basket three times and took it out twice. <laughs> I just, I didn't know. I didn't know whether to, um, whether, whether it would work straight out of the box. The reason being is, and I'll show you. Right, you didn't see that. It's because it came with one of those, a 16 amp caravan plug. Me, an electrician, what I'm supposed to do with that? Plug into a caravan. <laughs> Some people online were buying the female end to plug into that with um, a cable on it and a 13 amp plug. So I was thinking, well, okay, if that works, and I'm going to get some electrician out there that's going to go, no, you can't do that. Well, I'm not recommending you do do it, but for me, I did do it. I put a 13 amp plug on it, and it's been working absolutely fine. So that's what, that, they were my qualms, whether it would work straight out of the box. Not everybody has a, um, <laughs> a mains caravan converter socket at hand, because you only get that one with it. So that kind of put me, it kept putting me off. Uh, good thing about this is it's got an internal compressor, which works fine. Or you can use um, an external one. This hose just plugs in there, so I'm guessing you switch that over, I'm not sure, to put your compressor on, your external one, which has got a little plug like that, but I don't think that's a universal one. That, uh, I don't know if that would fit on my compressor, but I'm not going to use the compressor anyway, so just the internal one. So that's it basically. Yeah, uh, see, I did cut some metal with it. Uh, silly enough, I had it on 40 amps, so it chewed that up and knocked it down to 35 amps. Very nice. Not much tidying up to do there. Gonna go straight line with it. <laughs> yeah, you get a little cradle thing with it to fit on the end of your um, torch. But I've got to find out how to adjust that properly. It's just, yeah, it's not doing it for me. Because obviously you have to have the tip just close enough for it to arc. So, yeah, I'll give it a play. Besides that, I'm really happy with it. And yeah, I'd recommend you buy it. 150 quid, Lidl's. I hope it's put your mind at rest. And we'll see what I can do in the future with the thing. So glad I'm getting rid of the tin snips. <laughs> so pleased. Yeah, you saw I worked it out. Right, you see how messy this is. <sighs> like a dip. I had it on full power. Right, I'm not going about you doing a straight line or not. Uh, do a straight, try and do a straightish line. I'm excited now because I've just given it a test run. It's such a tidy uh, cut. Is it real? Is it real? Is it real? Is it real? Okay, it's not a straight cut, but that's so much tidier. You, you look at the other stuff that I did. I've got that on. I've got that on 30 amps instead of 40. So look, you can see how messy that is. That's that's a lot tidier. 
look at there, for a starter, look how messy that is. I wonder what would happen if we turned it down to 20 amps. Let's give it a go. Actually 25 amps. I'll just freehand it. Yeah, don't turn the machine off until that pump's shut down. So that's 35 amps. So anything lower than that, it's not going through that um, steel. I don't know how thick that is, but... 35 amps. Lots more tidy. And it goes through. Right. Now I know, now I, know I can really use this machine for some good stuff. Work that out. 